Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Karim Pitko. Today I'll talk about the great skeleton of 1963. And the skeleton was the salad oil skeleton, which is also referred as soybean skeleton, and it was significantly corporate skeleton in 1963 that caused more than 180 million dollars in losses to the organizations, including American Express, Bank of America, Bank of Lincoln, and many other international companies. Now, I'll tell you what was the skeleton, who was involved, and what was the fraud, and how it impacted the stakeholders. The skeleton included the company Allied Crude, Fed Allied Crude Vegetable Oil Organization in New Jersey. And the owner was Anthony Tino de Andre, a previous Swiss dealer. De Andre had been in trouble with the law previously for supplying schools with beef from uncertified sources under the National School Lunch Act. And now the fraud was the endless was awarded a contract with Food for Peace, a federal program which sold excess food stock to poor countries. He discovered that he could obtain loans based upon allied prudently implanted inventory of salad oil. Ships supposedly full of salad oil for allied food dock and inspector would certify the cargo allowing allied to pause the oil as collateral and obtain millions of dollars in the bank loans. In reality, the ship tanks contain only water with few feet of salad or floating on the top to trick inspector. When inspector audited allied facilities, the company would transfer the same oil stock from tank to tank to fool inspector while entertaining them during lunch. In all, Allied posted 1.8 million pound of soybean oil as collateral to frequently obtain 180 million dollar in loan when the actual stock was a mere 110 million and its impacts on stakeholders. The skeleton was uncovered when the Russian soybean market did not open up and soybean cost fell radically therefore, making the financial bankers endeavor to trade out. American Express stock dropped over 50% accordingly which cost the organization almost $58 million. The Angeles was convicted of fraud and conspiracy charges in connection with the Scalder and served seven years in prison, gaining and release in 1972. Thank you to watch my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.